So IPA is going to kill me, huh? No, it's not going to kill you. I think it's going to just form your body. Uh, body just form it in the, f- in the shape of man boobs. Brewers uh, call it brewer's droop because brewers make IPAs and they have to taste them all day mm-hmm. long. There's some kind of chemical compound in the, uh, in the hops once they, that, uh, you know, they start fermenting and they start making beer that, uh, that gives men man boobs. And um, is this it, is this enough to get you to stop drinking IPAs? Well, I don't drink that many IPAs. I, I I have to be in the mood for an IPA, so I'm not worried about that. But what Joe writes in but scares the hell out of me because he says soy sauce does it too. And I had this problem. If you remember, uh, we didn't cover that this year. That would have been a good one in the Twelve Days of Christmas. Do you remember I had to go in for a there's mammogram? A, there's, there's a lot. Of, there, yeah, that's right. I remember <laughs> you did. Because I had a lump in my left breast. And Jeremy it's called it gynecomastia. Yeah, Jeremy thought he had breast cancer. And well, you would think if you have a hard lump in your breast that you would have lump, Web lump, MD, uh, breast, breast cancer. Web, WebMD led Jeremy astray, <laughs> just like it leads. No, me. my wife felt it. She's like, "Oh my God, you got to get that checked out." So I went to the oh. doctor. He felt it. He's like, well, you probably have gynecomastia, which just sounds bad if you don't know what it is. And it's it's and I'm like, oh, my God, what is that? He goes, he goes, oh, nothing. It's just this uh, this uh, tissue that's uh, it's like a growth. And and, and uh, boys get it. And, Why are you doctors? Is that is that doctor's cruel, uh, cruel trick? Yes, I think it is. They, they, they can't just tell you, oh, it's nothing. It's just something it's just that a, some men it's get. It's just a gynecomastia. Like you think you have some kind of STD or you think you have like uh, leukemia. Um, when they tell you that, but it, they're like, oh no, it's, it's, it's nothing. We just take it out and, and, and it's, why can't they just tell you that up front? Like when I got the hand, foot and mouth disease from my kids, right? um, I, they said, they gave me like the terminology of what it is. They're like, well, and they did the dumb pause too. Well, you have Coxsackie disease. And I'm like, what? <laughs> It sounds like you're going to lose a part of yeah. your manhood. I'm like, hey, whoa, <laughs> eh, hold on a second here. I I know this is serious because it doesn't sound good, but God, I mean, cocksacky disease. And they're like, oh, no, it's hand, foot, mouth. It goes away in seven days. I'm like, well, wait, come lead with that, okay? Lead with that. Don't lead with the name of the disease because the name of the disease always sounds like it's going to kill you well anyway so the hop chemicals that that are usually found in ipas can give you which is known as brewer's droop or man boobs uh joe writes in he says soy so i look it up and soy sure enough i love soy sauce i put soy sauce on potatoes i put soy sauce on my salad i put soy sauce on everything i've even been known to suck on a soy sauce packet before and um An article in 2008 in some magazine links soy protein with gynoclamastia. That's probably why I got that lump in my my left breast, which is still kind of there, not really. You can also get it from soy milk, anything made of soy. And uh, a lot of times uh, you get these all over your body. Uh, You can have them in other places as well, and it's nothing. It's just just tissue that kind of clumps up together. Well, then what are, you, what are you worried about? Well, I'm not worried about it anymore, but it, it, when I first got it, that, that was... Ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, right? I don't not got no, no time for glenochimastia. So if you have a lump in your chest or on your pecs or your man boobs, I got man boobs. I'll be honest with you. I could be doing some more push-ups. Uh, drinking this, drinking th- less IPAs. We, you could drink less IPAs, lay off the soy a little bit. Um, let's see if they, I can figure this. There's other ways you can treat this. Uh, just mainly, I guess, your eating habits. Or you can go under surgery and have it removed. But, I mean, you know, it, for the most part, it doesn't bother people. But when I had this done, he wanted to make sure that it was glenochimastia. So after he did his inspection with his hands and felt me up, then I had to go and have a woman stick my uh, man boob inside the uh, the machine that does the... Do the squeezing. The, and I, the t- there's, Listen, I got a little man boob going on here, but it's it's nothing that goes into a machine like that. You have so to you put really it on the table. Yeah, it's like you have to put it on the table like this, Jeff. Mm-hmm. Get my mic down here. And you have to push. And it hurts on your ribs because your ribs are right there. And they're pushing you into this thing. And it's like coming down like this. And they're pressing on it. And then it starts moving left. And it starts moving right. It's, it's what, Okay, how hard is that for somebody who's... If you're a flat-chested woman, what, it's got to be what, a real pain in the why ass. Does, what do people do if they have a gynecomastia and they don't have man boobs? How do they get that, that thing checked out? Well, they do the same thing. I mean, there's yeah, always just, some sort of tissue intense. there. Yeah, like if you're somebody who works out and it's more muscle than fat. Mm-hmm. Not my, my case, but if you've you, started you a, are somebody that does that. You've, you've started a support group on uh, Facebook. Pat writes in. He says he too has had gynecomastia, but he wants to know if it pertains to uh, just IPAs or all beers, all ales. 
Well, I mean, I think the thing is with IPAs, uh, they use a lot of hops. Because there's so, so many The hoppier hops. the beers, yeah. So it, I so guess it doesn't double, have to be. If you're a double hop, like a double IPA person, right. you really... Mean, Which is the best IPA, right? Now yeah. that they made the doubles, they're, they're better than the singles. Well, for me, because for the most part. it's like wine beer. I mean, it's like the, the alcohol content of wine in a beer. The other thing is, Pat, I don't know if this has hurt your performance in the bedroom, but they said uh, this will also uh, lay you up in the bed and not in the way you want to get laid in bed. Well, but, I mean, that, doesn't that have to do with the alcohol, alcohol too? Your performance. Well, it affects your performance. It your performance because... Well, no, not because you're you drunk, get, just because you over time, tea. you, you, yeah, I have not had that problem. I, I'm, I don't know if Pat will. Pat seems to have a lot of the same issues. You've never, you've never gotten so maybe drunk that you couldn't... Cloned. Per, you've never gotten so drunk that you couldn't perform? Never. Well, this is this is why you've gotten so this. You've never done this, is because you've been with the same woman your entire life. Yes, and so she doesn't drink. She doesn't want to have anything to anything to do with you when you're that drunk. So she's not going to drunk be, Jeremy. Yeah, she's not. <laughs> she's not going to be willing to let you perform under those circumstances. <laughs> I'm still working on it. So that's why you've never had that problem because I guarantee you, most men have had that problem. <laughs> I'd love to try to get one of our brewer friends on the phone to see if they have to. If this is a condition, if they were the what was the what was the bra that uh, that Kramer on Seinfeld the brosier the brosier yeah the bro. For short, the brosier mm-hmm. was, uh, was <laughs> that is something that brewers have to make. Now, I know Matt Brandelson very well. I'm uh, not very well, but I see him a couple times a year. He's a small guy, and does he's he always wear, wearing t shirts. Does he wear compression shirts underneath the t shirt? See, that's so, the uh, thing. That's I don't the, know. That's the man girdle, the compression shirt. Does Firestone actually have a, a compression shirt for men that drink a lot of IPAs? Maybe we ask so, Ollie that maybe, today. Maybe that's something that they can keep in the Emporium. Uh, glanochymastia is uh, a condition that you can get uh, from, uh, you know, having too much soy. It could also come from this, uh, this drinking too many IPAs, and it's a buildup of tissue. You can get it in the breast area. It's not cancerous. There's no, it's not harmful. It, it can be painful with some people, though. But um, it also leads to moves. Yeah. The, I mean... So, you know. How are my moves looking? What are your, if maybe your resolution are these is looking to pretty get, good? get in better shape. Maybe you work this into your resolution. Um, what is the resolution? Doing more push-ups? No, th- just to get in better shape. Uh, maybe switching out IPA for something that's a little less hoppy. There you go. Yeah. Like a uh, a pale ale or maybe a nice Kolsch. Maybe, like an, German or, maybe an orange wit. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound right. All right. Let's get to the phones. Go ahead, man. Yeah, Jeremy, I just wanted to comment on the uh, gynecomastia. Yeah, go ahead. What's your name? My name's Todd. Go ahead, Todd. Well, growing up in the Cascadero, an odd thing happened in the 80s. There's, you know, from junior high to high school, a close group of my friends, we all got it. We all got gynecomastia, and we all had operations to get them removed, and I just thought it was odd. Well, how many? You know, we were kids. We weren't drinking beer. How, no, ma- how many? How many bit. of you were there? I would say five, Jeff. That's five a lot. Of my close friends. Yeah. Well, you know, I was reading up on it when I got it, and they Is said it, it happens a lot in teenage boys. It's a lot to do with your hormones and okay. hormones I running through the body. Something in the, the water. So who knows? That's that's what I was thinking. It's like an Atascadero thing. <laughs> It should be a, an Atascabama thing. I'm not sure. I don't know. The, the high school mascot should be the man boobs. <laughs> <laughs> well, we call them, Jeremy, we call them flits. <laughs> because they look like little flit. I don't know. And I only had one, fortunately. But it hurt like heck to get it surgically removed. Wow. It was a big, lumpy mass. Yeah, I didn't. Know? mine was not that big. It was just you had to really feel for it. And I'm lucky I didn't have to. I'm glad I didn't have to have it removed. Thanks for calling. Hi, good morning. Go ahead. You're on the air. Good morning, guys. Uh, Jeremy, every you guys run a commercial for like one of the slow clinics. Uh, they do like the breast scanning things, and every time I hear that commercial, I think of you, buddy. Thank you. All about you. gynecomastia. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, the we- gynecomastia <laughs> on the thick breast. Scans. We're doing a real public service for those with gly- gynecomastia this morning. Yeah, I, I, I'm worried myself. <laughs> well, just, you know, it, 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 the thing is you shouldn't worry because most of it is just tissue. It's not cancerous, but a, a lot of men get them. And, you know, you just kind of have to feel around in there. And I guess if you have mu- a lot of muscle, like if you do a lot of push-ups and you got good pecs, then you don't really feel them as much as if you got nice little fat boobies. So... <laughs> If you got some boobies, fill around in there. You're probably going to be fine. But if you drink a lot of soy or drink a lot of IPAs, you could get you could get glenochymastia. Uh, I'm going to get feeling. You guys have a good day. See you, Brian. <laughs> Jeff and Jeremy in the morning.